I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in the beginning of the video and say that this video is going to be out late, 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 late. I have not done this for a super review in a while, and that is because over the past couple of days I have been sick, I have not been feeling well. I did the last episode for Super, I think, or rather, let me see, let me look at my uploads. I did, I did the thoughts on Super's English dub video, I think, and then I did the, the Boros episode review for episode 41, and then I talked about Super ending in March, right? <laughs> And then over those past couple of days, I had obviously a sore throat. I didn't feel too well, but I still pushed through. I still pushed through and uh, recorded a couple of videos whilst I was still sick. And then Super Episode 124 came out. Uh, I didn't feel good the day it came out. And even then, I don't watch the episode on the first day that the episode comes out. So I just, you know, I just skipped the Super's first initial day and then I was waiting until Sunday so I, I didn't be able to watch it properly or whatever, right? And then Sunday, I didn't I didn't feel great at all. I didn't feel great over the past, like, like three or four days. It was awful. I, I just did not feel good. Uh, Monday hit. I still wasn't feeling well. Uh, today's Tuesday at the day I'm recording this and you're probably going to be seeing this on Wednesday, which is the day that I... Am, that uh, da, da, da. by the time you're going to be watching this, it's going to be Wednesday. Uh, that's the same day that Boruto episode, the next Boruto episode comes out, which is episode 42. Uh, you'll be seeing this on Wednesday. I'm recording us on Tuesday, and today is the was one of the few days where I actually don't feel like crap. It's one of the few days I actually don't feel like crap. If I did swear, I do apologize because uh, I haven't been in the swing of things for uh, a couple days. So I do apologize if I did swear a little bit, but anyways, we're back for another. Ep we're, bleh, we're back with another episode today. We're uh, reviewing episode 124. Uh, I don't know really what else to say about the episode other than it's a whole lot of action. Uh, animation was actually really good in this episode, but overall, uh, I was left disappointed with the episode because uh, the title insinuates that Gohan's going to be doing a lot of the episode, but it's more so vague because we didn't see Gohan until like the second half of the episode and even what he did in, in the episode, which was the second half it kind of disappointed me and overall, Gohan gets eliminated in this epi episode and it disappointed me because I was like, ah, but Gohan could have done like this and that and then duh, and it's like I could complain about it but the episode already aired, so what what can I say? What can I do to, you know, fix it? I can't. That's the problem. And Super is ending in March, so it's not like I can... It's not like I can really say anything that will change Toei's decision on it. And so it's like, whatever. What do I... What, what can I say or what can I do? Excuse me. I do apologize if you do hear me cough a little bit or, like, kind of stiffle up my nose because my nose is still stuffy I still do have a, a little bit of a sore throat I'm coughing a little bit so I do apologize I'll cut out uh, most of it if it isn't whilst I'm still talking you know like mid conversation so I do apologize for that but anyways uh, the episode starts off we get the obvious like preview of stuff that's going to happen in the episode then it's the intro then it's the title card stuff that happened in last week's episode uh, we you know like showing us that Vegeta did get into transformation, which I kind of almost forgot about because it has been a little bit since I uh, watched anything Dragon Ball. I've actually been rewatching Naruto Shippuden in Japanese uh, over the past couple of days, over the past week or so. So I kind of forgot a little bit of what ha what actually happened. So um, uh, we get a couple of shots with Beerus Universe Seven over at the. At the stands, they're rooting for Goku and Vegeta. Goku, we see a little bit of Goku and Vegeta fighting Jiren a little bit. Obviously, Jiren is uh, heating up a little bit. He, he he's heating up a little bit. He's starting to become a little bit more serious because Goku and Vegeta are starting to, you know, kind of go go all out a little bit more than usual. Dispo actually sees the conversation going on and then he starts to, you know, go go get serious with Frieza. So we we see him and Frieza fighting each other. Uh, Frieza 
is doing pretty well. You know, he's going against Dispo, who's apparently only now getting to the speed of light for some stupid reason, even though that's actually just a mistranslation. Even Hearns on Twitter uh, corrected it, and basically, th basically later on in the episode, Dispo like emits himself with like a purple, purplish kind of aura, and in the episode they called it like the super maximum like light speed mode i think that's what they called it and they were saying like like oh he's like the narrator was like oh he's the speed of light da, 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 da. right but literally it's a mistranslation and the actual translation for it literally means if you really want it to like super fastest mode or or something like that something similar to that but like super fastest mode that's literally what it translates to if you wanted it to be that's literally what it means so Super Speed's Warrior Dispo and Freezer are kind of go at it, going at it at each other. Uh, Freezer gets hit a couple of times. Dispo's dodging a lot of attacks. Uh, Freezer grabs Dispo by his arm, uh, kind of like throws him back a little bit, and then Freezer's like, "Hey, let's just say that if your universe wins, uh, why don't you wish me back with the Super Dragon Balls?" Right? He's trying to negotiate. He's trying to do like. A similar thing like he did with Frost, which uh, is very is a very Frieza like the Frieza like thing to do, and I thought that was kind of funny. But uh, Dispo is obviously a pride trooper. He's like, no, I'm not gonna work with evil. Screw you. And uh, so then, uh, something else that I actually thought was lame before this sequence of events happens is that he actually kind of throws like a blue circular disc at Frieza, which uh, goes around his body and then squeezes in and then eventually implodes with Frieza inside of the circle, and I was like, is that literally just Galactic Donuts from Gotenks? That's so lame. Nothing original. <laughs> uh, it was like kind of, it was kind of neat, but I was like, eh, it's kind of lame because it's basically just a good Gotenks reuse technique. So it was like kind of unoriginal. It's called, it was called Circle Flash. Like you can't get any unoriginal than that. Like it's kind of lame. <laughs> Anyway, so Frieza is starting to negotiate. Just was like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. And then Frieza goes golden. Frieza goes golden. They have the the really sick theme that they play whenever Frieza goes golden that I absolutely love. They did reuse the animation for Frieza going golden like they did back in episode 95. And I'm not gonna knock on it too much, uh, mainly because like it does, you know, obviously look good, but it's the fact that. They did reuse animation, which, you know, was kind of like, uh, they could have done maybe a little bit something different than just what they used in episode 95, but whatever. So Dispo charges at Golden Frieza, uh, throws a nice right punch to his face, Frieza's like, is that all? Teleports, hits Dispo in the gut, uh, Frieza's throwing barrage of attacks at Dispo, pushing him back. And then that's when Dispo turns purple, uh, or with a purple aura, and starts going super maximum light speed mode, which is probably some of the one of the most unoriginal names I've ever heard before in my goddamn life. But anyways, so obviously Dispo becomes a lot faster. And initially, I guess when people first saw the episode, they thought, well, maybe, maybe that, that kind of looks like God Key, or was it in the previews? I don't remember if it was in the previews, but um, obviously this is significantly faster because. Uh, even uh, the Zenos couldn't see what was actually going on and they couldn't tell what was actually happening and uh, apparently Dispo is so fast that even the God Pack couldn't see what Dispo was doing but what also didn't really make any sense is that they show us the God Pad and Zeno is, are trying to watch it in slow motion but at the same time Frieza is also moving it kind of shows Frieza is also moving at the same speed as Dispo so it's kind of confusing. I'm not saying Frieza is the same, is is as fast as Dispo with super maximum light speed, but um, I don't know. It just kind of looked weird when it was on the God Pad. So, anyways, Frieza's being pushed back. Gohan has to step in. Uh, Gohan is analyzing kind of like what Dispo is using to his advantage. So, you know, the whole time Frieza's being really sarcastic, which, which was really funny. Uh, Gohan comes up with a plan, and he's like, "All right, Frieza, let's restrict his movements." So, what happens is, is that Gohan goes towards Dispo, and then Frieza completely traps the two of them in like a kind of like laser kind of like dome like area. They're trapped inside. It's limiting Dispo's movements because if Dispo isn't careful, and neither is Gohan, because he actually gets hurt by it uh, in the same, and in, in, in like a couple shots early or later rather. 
But uh, if this boat isn't careful, he's going to get hit by the beams, which is going to give Gohan an opening to eventually, obviously, eliminate this boat, which was the plan. Uh, obviously, that's happening. Dispo is like uh, getting attacked by some of the beams a couple of times. Uh, he's obviously trying to dodge them at the same time. Uh, Gohan gets hit by one of the attacks, as well, one of the beams as well, actually. I'm sorry. Um, Gohan goes in for an attack because Dispo gets hit by one of the beams one last time. Frieza's running out of stamina. Uh, the beams go away. The beams completely disappear. Uh, Dispo is getting ready to attack. Uh, is ready to attack Gohan and then Gohan goes right behind him and it kind of like like uh, I, I guess like kind of gets a hold on him I don't really know what the hold is it kind of looks like a like a wrestling move from back in the day but Gohan puts him in a hold and essentially you know self-sacrifices himself so Frieza shoots both Dispo and Gohan off and yeah that's pretty much the end of the episode and it kind of ends off there uh, next week we're going to be getting Frieza in 17 versus uh Topo, which will be very interesting because they literally called Topo in the title and Go Goku himself said it in the previews God Destruction Topo or Topo's looking like a God Destruction which so it should be interesting again once one more time I'm very disappointed that we didn't get to see a couple of stuff that would have been like super awesome for Gohan like there, there would have there could have been some really cool Gohan moments in this arc, but we didn't get it, and unfortunately, it just didn't happen. Uh, we did get a little bit of acknowledgement from Goku. I think we kind of needed it, considering a lot of the stuff that has been coming out in a couple of days uh, during the Fighters beta. Uh, fighters, uh, fighters, Goku is like savage towards Gohan. It's, it's actually kind of hilarious. But anyways, uh, that's the end of the video. I I don't think I coughed the entire time I was almost talking in in this, ep in this episode in this video. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and push that notification button so you never miss a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a fantastic life, wonderful life, beautiful life. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, midday, or night. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out.